Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's go back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And I'm coming to you from Forest Haven with one of the worst ideas I've ever had in my life. I was really not sure what I wanted to do with this episode, but it felt really too soon to go back to the story. So I was looking around various websites, trying to get ideas, and then I remembered the Wither Trees side quest. Now, this is supposed to be easier in the HD remake, but I've never done this side quest before. So, you know what? Why not dedicate an entire episode to seeing if we can do it? And this is going to go so bad. So very bad. Alright, Link. Let's go. We have a half an hour to get this done. Now, the, there are two ways that this is supposed to be easier, and I do have a route pulled out that I'm taking. That I'm referring to. Uh, the first is that the Forest Haven water in the remake lasts half an hour, not 20 minutes. So we have an extra 10 minutes. The other reason that this is supposed to be easier is we have the Swift Sail. So with those two things, I'm hoping that uh, we might be able to do this. Now the first step, let me pull up my map here. We're going to sail due east and we're going to go to the Cliff Plateau Islands. And this looks like it's going to be the longest step because we actually have to solve a small dungeon on the way. Is this it? I don't know what my commentary is going to be like for this episode because this is kind of the first time that I've ever done this. I feel like this is it. This looks cliffy and plateau-y. So we're going to see how this works. Um, if I fail at this, depending on how I fail at this, I may keep this episode in and do it again later, or I may start over. I have saved properly before doing this. And it does look like the Forest Haven water pauses when you pause the game, which is good. But this is going to be probably the longest step I can think of. All the others just seem to be, hey, you know, run up a slope, do a thing, and uh, be on your way. This is the only one where you actually have to climb into a dungeon to do this. And this is one that I'm afraid that I'm not going to do very well at. Oh, especially if I keep bouncing off like that. Let's see, okay. The other reason is, I've obviously, I've not done this... Dungeon before, do not knock me off back in the water. I will hate you forever if you do that. So not only am I having to do the side quest, I'm kind of uh, learning this dungeon along the way. But there should be a Baba Bub, Baba Bud, ouch, to get us to the top of the tree. So kind of, there it is. Oh. Camera really almost tried to screw me there, didn't it? Okay. This feels like it's the right way. Yes. This is what I was told to expect. Actually, I already have my arrows out. Fire! That is not fire. Okay, I need to stop panicking a little bit and remember how to play this video game. That would help. This should... Oh, I bounced off. I bounced off. Actually, kind of want that chest. Actually, we'll come back for that later. Apparently. So, we have 10 minutes of grace period. Like I said, which is kind of a good thing. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. But to be perfectly honest, if this episode goes a half an hour... That, uh, that kind of feels like a failure on my part anyway. Alright, let's see here. That's a much better jump. And there's the, there's the tree. Cool. So we'll come back in here for the treasure another time when we're not quite on such a schedule. It actually does have a chart in there that we're going to want. And a couple of other goodies. It has a blue chew jelly. And uh, I 
think that's it. So just a chart and a blue chew jelly, but that's first tree down. Okay. Let's warp to Southern Ferry Island. And we're going to sail west this time. Southern Ferry Island, Forest Haven, this one. We're going to sail west, I believe, one stream to Shark Island, and this one's going to be fairly simple. Just run up to the island, find the tree, and water it. That's how I like my trees. Short and sweet and to the point. Right, let's set the degree to west. Uh, actually, am I facing west? I am. I was. Alright, cool. I'm hoping this is just another one screen away thing because obviously I don't have all of the charts, right? Now, for doing this side quest, you're doing it mostly for the satisfaction of, you know, helping the great Deco Tree live. I'm just taking a look at this 5 eye reef and I don't know what that is. So if I don't see the tree here, then uh, we continue on selling west. I mean, you're helping the Deku tree live because, as the Korok said, his life force is tied to uh, the trees that are around the islands and starting new forests. So if he can't do that, then eventually the Deku tree will give out all of his life force uh, trying to make these trees and he will pass on and you won't have any more Deku tree and it's heavily implied that this Deku tree is the one that spawned after Link after Link um, is that it? yes there's a Korok after Link uh, beat the Force Temple because he lifted the curse that was keeping the Deku tree from uh, budding and you know this is supposed to be that Deku tree just like um Valu is supposed to be descended from Vavagia and Jabun is supposed to be descended from Lord Jabu Jabu so it's kind of Link's duty to keep the Deku tree alive I mean he's responsible for it But, but your reward for it, for it is not that good. You're doing a lot of work for something that uh, it's basically just a piece of heart. And normally I'm all about those pieces of heart, but this is a lot of work for a piece of heart. All right, Great Fish Isle is next. We're going to go up that corkscrew path that uh, we glided to for rupees, remember? And also for that heart piece, we're going to go up and actually, you know, do our job and help that little Korok out that we saw so many episodes ago. The rest of these, like I said, appear to be pretty simple. I just wasn't sure how well we were going to be doing in that little mini dungeon. And I'm not thrilled that we left behind treasures because it means we're going to have to go back for them. But I would rather go ahead and get this done rather than try to solve that maze of thorns and, um, you know, lose valuable time. We already lost a little bit of time. But so far, let's see, we've gotten three out of eight inside 20 minutes. That's actually pretty good. Okay, now we're not going to warp again. We're going to go to Needle Rock Island. Which is... Let me get back in the boat. No, I don't want to talk to boat. I don't I didn't want to talk to boat. Thank you. Uh, it is southwest from Great Fish Isle. Okay, so... I think I actually have this one charted. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Had this one charted for once. We really need to go around and get all of these charts. God, this is about exactly the direction I want to be going. And I need to do the figurines still. I actually found out some rather disappointing information on the figurines, which I'll get into probably the next episode. I will actually show off what you do to get figurines in the next episode. That looks like Needle Rock Island over here. 
but we're not going to be able to get all of them in one playthrough apparently and i'm actually a little bit annoyed by that now some of that is my fault i guess i might as well talk about it now some of it is my fault some of it is the game's fault obviously i left some opportunities to get pictures behind from bosses and we're not going to get another opportunity to get those pictures you know what that's okay But, there it is. Uh, whoa. Hey, Sale. You wanna, you wanna not screw me over here? Yeah, I probably should jump, but whatever. Um, there is actually only one opportunity in the entire game to get Tetra's photograph for her figurine. If you get Tetra's photograph, you get the pirates as well. They come along with her. If you don't, though, you have no way to get Tetra's picture or the pirate's pictures, which means you cannot complete your uh, figurines and you can't get the bonus figurine that you get for finishing everything in the, in the gallery. If you finish all the figurines, you get a figurine of... Hang on a sec. All right, now that we have that, we're going to warp to the private oasis, okay, which is the Tower of the Gods in South. If you uh, get all of the figurines, you get a figurine of Link and the King of Red Lions, which is the obviously the only way to get that figurine. We're not going to be able to get it. Um, so what I'm currently thinking is if I'm going to do all of the figurines, I'm probably going to go get the ones that I missed in New Game Plus and upload a bonus video of uh, the last of the figurines which will probably be Link and the King of Red Lions and the pet the pirates and the bosses and Tetra and up to that point um as I show off or as I fill up galleries in my own time then I'll show off the figurines in the full gallery but it's kind of irritating that you cannot get Tetra's figurine except for one specific time in the game and if you don't know about it, then uh, it's impossible to get. And not only is it something you have to know about ahead of time, you actually kind of have to glitch her out to get her far enough away from you to take a good picture. Because she's following you directly and you need a particular uh, shot of her centered and facing you, you actually kind of have to get her caught on collision in order to get her far enough away to take a picture that's acceptable. I think that's really, really dumb. I feel like there should be an opportunity if the pictograph is going to be that hard to get. Also, these trees have faces and it creeps me the hell out. If the pictograph is going to be that hard to get, it probably would have been better to have it been sold, you know, by... The pictograph shop guy at some point, like he sells the figurines and a cutscene. Or he sells the pictures of characters in a cutscene so you can get their figurines. It's dumb that it's only one point in the game that you can get and it's easily missed. Alright. We're going to warp to the Tower of the Gods again and we're going to go to Eastern Fairy Island. So, we're just... I'm going to remember what this is. There we are. Warp to the Tower of the Gods and sell east. I believe we are, we have this on the map as well. We're actually going through this really fast. I just realized we that was number five. And we're still under ten minutes. Maybe I was hyping up the difficulty of the side quest. Or maybe this route that I've got is just really, really good. All right, sailing east. Is that east? That is close enough. All right, we have more than passed half of half of the um, of the trees, and look how much time we have left. I think I might have been intimidated by this quite a bit, to be perfectly honest. Because now, like I said, this is just warping to various places and running to various things. It's more a matter of knowing where you're going. 
Is that Eastern Fairy Island? I feel like that's a Triangle Island, isn't it? Yeah, it's Eastern Triangle Island. Um, did it mean Thorn? I can see it. I hope they mean Th Thorn Fairy Island. Because I'm going to sell for that. Maybe, no, in the original it was also called Thorn Fairy Island, so I don't know. Weird that this guy calls it Eastern Fairy Island. So if we actually manage to get this done in uh, such a short time, maybe we'll do some of these treasure ch charts that I've got, you know? We've still got a whole stack load of those that we can open up and explore now. Was there a little uh, weather dude on this island? I actually don't remember. Let's run up and check it out. Before we get bombed, please do not bomb me, dude. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did. I was supposed to sail north. Okay. Well, not a big deal. That's probably why they called it Eastern Fairy Island. It wasn't a typo on their part. It was a mistake on mine. Uh, let's see. How close are we to that? Yeah, I should have just gone north. Whoops. Okay. It's probably going to be worth it to warp again. We had to make at least one mistake, right? Although I feel like calling it Eastern Fairy Island is kind of bad naming if it's not actually the easternmost fairy island, you know? I feel like uh, the easternmost fairy island probably should be Eastern Fairy Island. But obviously I wasn't consulted on the names of these things. Alright, north this time. Actually we're going to sail around the Tower of the Gods and now we'll head north. Otherwise, we'd have to sail completely through it. Beetle, what are you selling? I want to know, but... I got trees to save. And plenty of time to do it. We have three trees left. I could take six minutes per tree. There it is. And, uh... I wouldn't want to, but I could. But we would be able to finish the side quest in that kind of a time frame. It's gonna be really funny if I do this in 20 minutes, because that means I could have done it in the original. Well, there, no, I guess that's not a guarantee because I am using the Swiss Ale. We'll see how much time I do this in, and then we'll try to decide if I could have done this in the original. Alright, that's number six. There's your tree. I hope you're happy. Let's go. I hope it, uh, it's everything you wanted out of life. Let's book it here. Two more trees left. We're going to warp to Tingle Island. And sail northwest. And that's going to take us to the Mother and Child Isles. Which looks like that's where we got, if I'm reading the map right, that's where we got... Uh, our fire and ice arrows, which I guess kind of makes sense because she was the queen of the fairy world Therefore she's the mother of all fairies and I'm sure it's gonna be like, you know, here's a big island. Here's a little island That's the obvious connotation but I bet It's also because she's the mother of all the great fairies and by association all the regular fairies Grandmother I suppose do I just want to take this Georg out? Kind of do. Okay. Did we go too far? Hello, Georg. I think we got too far. We have some time to hunt this down. We are northwest of Tingla Island, are we not? No, we are western. We need to go more north. Okay. Full north! There we go. Now 
this Georg is going to chase the hell out of me, and I kind of want to stop and take him out, and I kind of don't think it's worth it. Maybe it is, just because it's kind of annoying me. I don't want to... Ah. There we go. Link will jump out of the boat in celebration of his accomplishment. Oh, and the rupee gets thrown directly at me. Thanks, that's very nice of you. I'm gonna leave it there forever as your grave marker. Swisso go! Also, there's a Gorn merchant over here, so we're gonna have to remember that. Ah, yes, there we go. This looks like... a tree? Yes. Hard to see, but there he is. He's such a little guy. Alright, this is tree number seven. Oh, and a blue chew. We're definitely gonna get that while we're here. By the way, the reason why I have not gone to open up the blue potion yet, I forgot it actually takes 15 of a given jelly to unlock a potion. And I only have five or six. All right, that is number seven. Awesome. I'm actually rolling through this really well, despite getting lost. Okay. Sail north from the child of the mother and child islands to get to Star Island. Oh, I'm guessing that's the child isle. Sailing north. Oh, okay. Oh, there's treasure there. We got time. I think. Yeah, we got like 15 minutes. Let's snag this while we're here. I feel like there were two on top of each other. Was that weird to anybody else? What are we getting? Money or a piece of heart? I'll take either. Money it is! One is worth a whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. Cool. All right, north. That is definitely not north. This is. So let's get, you know what? Let's orient ourselves back to the child island. All right, do this properly. So, north. There we go. Now this should take us to Star Island, which is our last one. I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in this square. Maybe it's that over there, that flat little thing? Why is it that the days seem to go by super fast and the nights seem to take forever? That annoys me. I'm sure it's just my imagination, but it does annoy- Wow. A uh, friendly place. Is That looks like a star. It's got heads on it and treasure. Ooh, there's lots of good stuff here. But first, I think I see our final tree. Little Korok buddy, I have rescued all of your friends and their trees. I have rescued you from failure. I bring to you the final water. Oh my god, it's gonna explode. And for our trouble, a piece of heart. You know, sometimes doing the right thing is its own reward, but I'll take the piece of heart anyway. You got a piece of heart, you collected a total of two pieces, get two more to complete it, another heart container. What do you have to say? Swordsman, come see how healthy my forest tree has become. Wow, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. So we did that in about 17 minutes, so we would have had three minutes to spare. I'm not sure that that counts enough for being able to do that in the original, because I did abuse the swift cell. However, I had time to get lost and salvage for treasure, so... I want to call it a distinct possibility that I could have done this on my first time in the original. Alright, 
What is this treasure? And since we're here, we'll see what's up with those heads on the island. Ah, another silver rupee. One is worth a whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. Of course it is. What does my recording say like 26 minutes? <laughs> I started it, I guess, because of all the warping and, and everything that would have paused the timer. Alright, but I do want to see what's up with these heads. I guess actually I need bombs. Let's see, is there anything of note? What about the big ones? I'm hoping it's just like, maybe they're covering a chest and not another little mini dungeon. We'll see. Drop. I wish that would tell you that you could drop it with the R button. It tells you how to throw it. It doesn't tell you how to drop it. No, it's a mini dungeon. All right, what's in here? We'll look at this this episode, and then we're gonna. Wow. Okay. I hope that was rain and not my TV going crazy. Oh, why is it always you guys? Why? At least it just looks like. I just need to finish you guys off by planting you in the ground. Uh, there you go. And now you're planted in the ground. Left me spoils. Okay, so this is kind of an arena. Alright, I can deal with an arena. Especially since I'm all charged up at this point, and also I probably actually should be stealing from you? Although I don't think the blue ones carry joy pendants. No, they do. Okay. I thought it was just the pink ones, but I was wrong. Maybe the pink ones have a 100% chance of it, and the blue ones don't. Alright, time for the mutant ones. Gonna let you know, guys. I'm not that intimidated by you. Not with the Master Soul on my side. Alright, here come the Moblins. Of course. And after this, do I fight some Dark Nuts? Also, I found out during my research, there is actually not a difference between the White Armored and the Black Armored Dark Nuts. Instead, what you look for in difficulty is whether or not they're wearing a cape. Dark Nuts that have a cape are considered Captain Dark Nuts. And they're more difficult to defeat because you have to get rid of the cape before you can get rid of the armor. Alright, that was pretty simple. Let's go see what's in the spoils balls first. Money? That's okay. I like money. The other guy didn't drop one, he just dropped bombs. What do I get? What's my prize? Another piece of heart. Awesome. You've collected three so far. Collect one more to increase your life energy by one heart. That feels like a good note to end an episode on, guys. So we're going to do just that. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming out and watching today. I much appreciate it. All the views are always appreciated. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you let me know by leaving me a thumbs up. If you're new to the, to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be uploading Wind Waker every weekday like everything else. And if you have any hints, tips, or tricks, Make sure you leave me a comment. Thanks for watching again, and you guys have a great day. Later.